In this video, we're going to show how to set out your HD bolts uh, using the layout point applicator. A uh, tool found in the warehouse, so you can download that at any time. Um, once you download it, it will show in your application components like below. Uh, so in this one, we're just going to set out the HD bolts to start with. Uh, that The layout point applicator will work off a filter. Uh, so we're going to create a new selection filter here. Um, just singling out the, the HD bolts, in this case the anchor rods. And we're just going to name that HD bolts and save that away. Uh, so that's what uh, Tackle is going to look for. So anything in your model uh, labeled anchor, bolt, anchor rod, sorry, um, it's going to pull through and add a, a layout point for. So we can shut that one there. Uh, we can now open the layout point applicator from here. Uh, so the conditions here, so this is just currently looking at all edges um, of the member, so our anchor rod. Uh, for our case, we'll want the center um, of the anchor rod. Uh, the part face, we're going to have the start of the member, which will be the top here. Um, and then we select our selection filter, which will be our HD bolts. So once we've got that all set out, we can just hit create from all. You can create from selected as well, uh, but in our, in our case, we're just going to create from everything. Give it a second to do its thing and you'll see that we now have uh, layout points on top of the uh, HD bolts here uh, all throughout the model so anything named anchor rod. We can then go to our layout manager and you'll see that we now have a group of 64 layout points. Uh, we can go through and do some things if you want to rename your points um, and then it's going to start with a number one and go um, numerically from there. Uh, we can then auto name that so it doesn't come through with points one, two, three, four. Uh, they all have a coordinate system assigned to them now as well, um, all based off your model. Uh, so we can now export that. Uh, so we do have direct links to Triple Field Link, um, but in just for the video's sake, I'm going to export to a text file so we can see what the output is. So you'll see we have our points here. Uh, all we really need to do is export to a field so you use that name uh, you can actually export to a base point as well so if you're going to be exporting your model to a base point always export your uh, your base uh, your uh, points to a base point as well that way they'll match the model when it's exported uh, for my case i'm just going to use the model origin once we export that we'll have a file created in our model folder so I'll just go through here. Uh, so this is a new file created. Uh, so you'll just see just a simple text file telling us uh, what the point is and then the XYZ uh, description of it. Thank you for watching.